with you. But uh, to get started with the first fight on the card, we have a, a nice matchup, which is a lightweight matchup between Jamie Malarkey, who is 12 and 4 and is the plus 120 uh, underdog, going up against Kymer Worthy, who is 16 and 7 and is the minus 140 favorite. What are your predictions for this fight? So, um, I, you know, I did a little research on this one. Um, you know, Jamie's 26, but he's lost two in a row. These guys are very interesting, though, uh, eBay, because, you know, he fought Volkanovski, right? And then, yeah. and then Worthy has fought Ottoman, and, 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 uh, and he, he, um, he fought, uh, Paul Felder in his third fight. So, I mean, like, these guys have both fought, like, early on, like, like studs, you know what I mean? Like, Ottoman is a stud. Volks is stud and and uh you know Felder is a is a pro's pro, right? So like they they have fought really good guys. Um they they have a lot of finishes, what I was what I looked up. Like they 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 don't go the distance, which is nice for a fight fan, especially on a pay-per-view. Would like to see finishes, right? Like, you know, nobody wants to see, you know, uh uh guys that we don't know that well as a technical fight. Like I would like to see some kind of smash go on here, you know? So my prediction, I got Malarkey. With youth over experience in a in a mild upset, um, and and he could finish him because uh, these guys finish they get finished or they or they or they finish and Worthy's been finished six times so I, I think he gets finished uh, being the older guy you know youth over experience in this one for me what about you yeah so uh, if anybody doesn't know like my show I go into like a little bit of a a, a little bit of detail just because I want to do my own thing. But first, we got Jamie, who is four and four in his last eight fights, and yep. lost his last fight to Ferrisium. Yeah, he averages two strikes per minute and gets four takedowns a fight with a forty percent success rate. Malaki is a technical striker who works his jab well, mixes in kicks, and has eight career knockouts. So his power is no joke. Yep, he's going to want to get to the ground and work the ground and pound game plan where Kama is weak defending. Yeah, Kama's not going to want to be on on the on the mat. He's going to want to stand up. Right, his conditioning will be a concern, but uh, but controlling the tempo can help with that. Sure. Then you got Kama Worthy. He has won seven of his last eight fights and is coming off a, a loss to Otman at Azatar, that that guy that got uh, removed from Fight Island a few months ago. Yeah, he's good uh, though. He is. Uh, he presents no threat to take his opponents down, but usually lands four significant strikes per minute. His striking is his mainstay. He has a purple belt in B BJJ. He will want to push the pace and dictate the fight to stand up. He, he's going to want to control the middle of the octagon. Sure. The, uh, the, to me, this this could be a quick fight. I have yeah. this as a quick fight. I I have uh, Jamie Malarkey by a first round knockout. I see him getting several takedowns in the first round yep. uh, it, it, very easily. I see him uh, controlling him on the mat, and then I actually have him stunning him with an elbow. Okay. Before he before he finishes the fight with a with a knockout, I just feel like with the, with guys that are yes. that are scared to go on the ground and then don't have like it, it said on his uh, on his uh, bio he, he has yet to uh, defend a takedown. I don't know if that's yeah. because it, he's not he hasn't been in the UFC that long. Only three or, fights. Yeah. Yeah. Or if like. The guys that has fought him haven't really tried to take him down, but he has zero takedown defended defense at all. So that that's, that's not almost, a good thing. When, that's almost unheard of, I believe. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's not that's not a good thing when you're going up against a guy who averages four takedowns a fight. Yeah, like like this, uh, I could be totally wrong, and it could be the same thing as Sarkinov versus Span, where Sarkinov averages like five, but then he just gets knocked out in the in the first round. It, 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 it could turn out to be that, but when I see a guy that can't defend the, the takedown or has yeah. yet to do it, it's kind of hard to go with him in this fight. I mean, he's got he's got a couple takedowns himself because he's got a few you know guillotine submissions as yeah. wins, but only one in the UFC of the three fights. Um, yeah, I, again, I see this ending fast too. Um, and uh, you know, I guess I guess the 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 wild card would be if he takes down Malarkey. Then we'll yes. see something different happening. You know, can Malarkey, will he panic, you know, uh, or what will happen with him? But I got I have it the same way you do pretty much. Um, 
I like your detail though. You see, you're envisioning this <laughs> elbow first. That's great. So yeah. So we and, we're always... so so mild upset we have, right? I mean, like I, I, I when I when I researched it a bit, not as hard as you. Um, I was surprised Malarkey was the underdog, but I guess because yes. because Worthy's won seven of eight, but not not really in the UFC. I guess that's why he's the favorite here. I mean, his body type looks a little bit like Usman, but you know, he doesn't not fight like Usman, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, like may, maybe if the they uh, build up, maybe if he had more fights in the UFC, maybe right. I would have been like, okay, I can see why he's the favorite, but he's only had three, and then uh, yeah. Malarkey's been in the UFC for like eight, nine fights, uh, yeah, and, and Worthy's thirty four. So like, like you know, like where are we going with this kind of thing? You know what I mean? I guess you know yeah. some guys peak late, but I uh, usually only in the heavyweight division is, is the late peak or John, you know, Jan Blakovich. Yeah, late, but that doesn't usually happen. So we'll go with youth. Yep. But to move on to 